Hallelujah, praise Master Jesus. Wow, this is a new day that the Lord has made that we should rejoice and be glad. Once more again, I bring us God's word. The, this particular prophetic word title says, Someone is using what belongs to you in the name of Jesus. For as many that are joining, please follow this particular prophetic word from the beginning to the end. The title says, Someone is using what belongs to you in the name of Jesus. This is not a prophetic word you should skip. This is a prophetic word you're listening from the beginning to the end in the name of Jesus. If you're coming across this channel for your very first time, God bless you. As for my returning subscriber, God bless you. For all those that have been encouraging and supporting this channel, God bless you in the name of Jesus. Wow. This is Prophetic Blessings with Pastor Basil. Have you been believing God or looking for a family to join whereby your spiritual life can grow, whereby your spiritual life can be encouraged? Please, this family is available. Subscribe to become part of this family. So whenever I'm live, you will be notified together. Let's pray in the mighty name of Jesus. This particular prophetic word title to say someone is using what belongs to you. At the place of prayers, there is somebody that God wants to set free. This is not an ordinary prophetic word. It's a word of deliverance. This prophetic word is coming to you as a word of deliverance. Praise Master Jesus. Someone is using what rightfully belongs to you. I have seen a scenario whereby, praise Master Jesus, I am not here to rejoice over people's failure or I'm not here to rejoice over people's like limitation or, or what stop order. So I'm here, praise Master Jesus. I've seen a scenario whereby there is this particular guy that went to school. This guy was very, very educated. Like this guy was like very intelligent. I mean to say the guy was very intelligent while he was going to school. There was another guy in the family because they were the two male. This other one was stubborn. He, he, he didn't have time to go to school. But when this guy, this guy went to school in the level of which he had his degree. And when this guy graduated from the university with his degree, then this guy died. We don't know what happened, but this young man died. So now the certificate of this guy could not be wasted in vain. Then this other stubborn guy that was just moving around, he had the zeal to work into government, but he never had what it takes. So he had no choice than to use the guy's certificate because they were looking alike from the same family. So after the burial, the family hand over all the certificate and document to the guy. So this guy had to use all these documents to get what was not his own. So I learned something from there. So for the sake that this guy died, this other one used his document as a testimony. How can you share a testimony on somebody's downfall? At first, I was doing so, but right now, with the maturity in God, I cannot share such a testimony again. I cannot stand to tell somebody, I cannot stand to, to, to share a testimony by saying, I was going somewhere with my sister, the car got spoiled, or something happened, I, I, I dropped down when they were going, arm robber attacked them, or they had an accident, how you cannot rejoice or you cannot use people's failure or people's difficult moment as testimony. So now, I just came up with this particular story so that we can understand what I'm trying to talk of. Somebody is using what is rightfully yours. So this is the physical scenario whereby somebody died and his property and document, everything was used by another person. I have also seen a scenario whereby People's spiritual destiny have been exchanged. Like somebody can take you, they know that you are you have a bright future, then they exchange your destiny. They exchange your destiny with, with another person's destiny. Like people use your destiny. There are people that submitted their documents and applied for some certain jobs, how their strength and capacity, everything proved that they were the one that they were qualified. But yet everything will be changed in the system and they will put people that are not qualified. They will put people that are not worthy just for them to use what belongs to others. So the Lord showed me somebody under the sound of my voice. The reason why your life has been at that particular position level is because somebody 
is seriously using what belongs to you. But when you sit alone, your dreams and your imaginations, you see yourself like a big person. But when you go to the practical, you don't actually know what is going on. We are living in a world whereby the world is full of evil. You apply for job. They don't give you job because you are qualified. They give you job because you have given something behind. That is a world whereby. But the Lord has sent me to speak this word in the life of somebody watching and connecting in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is using your, your your what belongs to you in the realm of the spirit, in the name of Jesus, the Bible says the weapon of our warfare are not carnal. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principality and power. I declare by the dynamis power, let your glory be restored. Let what belongs to you be restored in the name of Jesus. Anyone sitting on your document, I pray that let the I am that I am, the God that answer by fire, set fire on your document. Hallelujah. So that the abutters will catch in the name of Jesus. I want to declare and I decree for those that their destiny, for those that their glory has been exchanged, listen to me, in the midst of bribing and corruption, anyone that is trying to take your position, may God make a way for you. May God make a way for you. The Bible says in the book of Job, when others shall say there is a casting down, you will definitely stand to say there is a lifting up. As you make this decree and this declaration in the name of Jesus, there is a lifting, lifting up for you. For in Jesus' mighty name, amen. I pray that anybody trying to use what is your own, restoration, for in Jesus' mighty name, amen. I want you to believe to this word. Hallelujah. Believe God, believe God that your glory is restored. Hallelujah. That in the midst of the corruption and bribing, God will make a way for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. God bless you. Please don't forget to subscribe, like this prophetic word, and you share in Jesus' name. Amen.